What's up, man? What's up? Got to save the small talk. However, shout out to my boy, S Savage. He's the newest uh, member uh, of the channel. You can join the channel. That's a good way to su uh, support my channel. You know what I'm saying? Support me and what I do. You know what I'm saying? Here at this channel here. Um, Busy day to day. Really busy today. Day to day. I had to go check out a few uh, houses and things like that. So hopefully your boy is going to be on the move. Uh, so that's one thing there. So you guys can look at tomorrow. Uh, I have an early doctor's appointment. That's another thing. Uh, you know, health is always going to be well. Um, let's do a drive by of some picks, mostly the usual suspects, whatever the case may be, but it ain't broke. Don't fix it. Uh, don't have enough time to do a lot of rundowns. I will tell you this here. Um, on, um, if you, you, you gotta have Twitter. Okay. You, you gotta have Twitter. Um, you know, at underdog fantasy, uh, underdog fantasy, that's underdog underscore NBA. I mean, at underdog underscore NBA, you need to be following these guys. Okay. Uh, you know, you need to be following these guys. All right. So hold on. Let me show you guys. Let me see. At Underdog NBA, my phone's so damn shiny. Uh, you know, follow those guys for the best, latest, greatest injury news. Um, you know what I'm saying? And you know, you know, try to stay up with it, man. Stay, stay up with it, okay? At Underdog NBA, Underdog NBA, Underdog NBA. All right, so um, let's get right to it. Um, let's do a drive by, okay? All right, uh, Indiana Pacers at Charlotte Hornets here. We got an over under uh, 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 233 and a half in this spot here. Um, Halliburton, uh, biggest injury news right here. He's questionable. Um, Hayward's out. Dennis Smith Jr. Is, isn't expected to take the floor today. Um, Martin and Duarte are still out. So that's that's it. Okay, so we've been doing this shit forever, all right? We've been doing this shit forever. Um, if Halliburton goes, his double doubles, his assist prop is in play. If he goes, his assist prop is in play. Okay. However, uh, you got to get a Lamelo, Lamelo ball into the fold now. Um, his rebounds and assist prop are, is, is is in play for player combos. Um, uh, Terry Rozier, since since, since Lamelo ball is back, he's probably going to take the ball out of his hands. His assist is going to drop. That's why you see his rebounds and assist prop is sitting at eight and a half right now. I, if you want to temper your expectations, I would. I mean, you could. I would. This would be Lamelo ball's third game. Uh, his rebounds and assists, he's had thirteen and twelve. So uh, six and uh, thirteen and a half is not a real possibilities. I'll probably just wait. I'll probably just wait. You know, he's a triple double candidate. Uh, they have that three ball, okay? The three ball is in play for these guys. Uh, Lamelo Ball and Terry Rozier and uh, Kelly Oubre Jr. and uh, PJ Washington. The three ball is in play for these guys. Uh, Indiana Pacers does give up. Does give up the three ball, okay? So Lamelo Ball, he's taking fifteen and nine threes. He's taking twenty-four threes in two games. He's averaging twelve a game right now. He went four for 15, one for nine on his first game. He's going to shoot a lot of threes. Terry Rozier, we know he's going to shoot a lot of threes. The three ball is in play. He said minus 140. It is what it is. Uh, so I'll, 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 I'll keep it moving. All right. Um, don't have a super favorite play here. Not going to lie. Don't have a super favorite play. We know um, Mason Plumlee can go out there and crush his rebounds and assist prop and his assist prop, but I'm tippering my expectations here. All right? Buddy Hill on the other side, his three ballers in play, uh, just some guys that we don't see on the books. Let's keep it moving. All right? Oklahoma City Thunder and Washington Wizards here. We got 228 and a half over under. We do expect Bill to be back in this spot here. So that's something that you can uh, uh, keep in the back of your mind. Uh, Christian Porzingis is in a good spot here going up against this uh, uh, Washington team. I mean, this OKC team here. So I can't talk you off any of his numbers. Uh, the usage has been there in, 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 in the absence of uh, – in the absence of uh, Christoph Porzingis, uh, this point—I mean, in the absence of Bradley Beal, this point prop was sitting at uh, twenty and a half. Um, I'd imagine uh, uh, Dort would probably be guarding um, 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 Bradley Beal. So, uh, you know, if you want to tip your expectations on points, then you know, be my guest. And then, um, uh, Shai Gillis Alexander, his point prop was sitting at twenty-nine and a half. He's been absolutely murdering this. 
You guys know that. He's been murdering that. Um, he's hit this frequently throughout the season, so I can't talk about that. Uh, rebounds for uh, Chris Tapps and um, – Who's was in the eight and a half and nine and a half? I probably won't. I probably won't force anything. I probably won't force it. Um, as far as combos considered here, um, you can look at combos for um, uh, Josh Giddy. His rebounds and assists. His rebound rebounds and assists are sitting at twelve and a half. I have mal interest there. Okay, so uh, he's averaging um, twelve point eight uh, rebounds and assists. Uh, last game he had eleven. Uh, but after that, you know, he's hit this number one, two, three, three, three out of his last four games. Uh, um, he played uh, 30 minutes or better in three of those last four. So uh, those are some 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 plays right there. All right. As far as the three ball, uh, I probably won't look to nobody threes here. Maybe Dort, uh, his, his three ball uh, uh, sitting at one and a half. That's a parlay piece. So if you want to get to that, uh, be my guest. But, you know. Uh, one and a half. I think that's doable for him, but I'm going to keep it moving. Um, oh, Minnesota Timberwolves at Orlando Magics here. Um, injury, injury news and notes. Let's talk about it real fast. No Banchero. Wendell Carter Jr. missed shoot around today, so he might be he might not be playing. And uh, Fulton, Anthony, of course, they out. Isaac Wagner, those guys are out. Whatever case may be. So, uh, you know, it, it, we might be able to see, we might see some Mo, Mo Bamba here might get the start. You know what I'm saying? And probably Mo Bamba and Bobo if 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 Carter doesn't go. So uh, that's something you need to look out there. Still a big team, still a big team. And then Minnesota Minnesota Timberwolves still have you know some big guys down there. Not my favorite spot here, uh, especially if a uh, Wendell Carter Jr. goes. Not my favorite spot. Uh, the three ball should be in play for uh, Minnesota Timberwolves guys. Uh, combos, well, a combo that I've been riding is the 12 and a half uh, rebounds and assists for uh, uh, Carl Anthony Towns. Double double is not out of the realm of possibilities, but if those big guys are playing, I would not go for a double double for Carl Anthony Towns. So, um, but rebounds and assists is in play. And then uh, on prize picks, uh, you can get his assist prop at. Uh, Four, so that's something that I'm interested in right there. Uh, four assists, you know, his, his assist prop on the books is four and a half. I'm probably liking this better than the uh, rebounds and assists, but we'll see. I think that's some play as well. So those are two plays that I'm looking at. And then, like I say, the three ball, the three ball is in play for multiple candidates here. They just got to hit them. If you're feeling froggy, then just jump at them. Um, D'Angelo Russell, two and a half at plus money. Carthy Towns one and a half and Anthony Edwards two and a half at uh, minus one forty six. Um, those are some plays that I'm looking at, at for that game right there. Miami Heat, Toronto Raptors. We have an over under two fifteen in this spot here. Um, let me check some injury news because I see that game was just locked up. So let's see what's going to happen or what's going on. Bam Adebayo is out. So now it is really, 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 really crazy. Okay. So we just got that news right off the bat. So let me tell you what's going to happen here. All right, so listen. Bam Adebayo is out, all right? Fred, Fred Van Viet is questionable. Tyler Hero is ruled out. Um, Gary, Gary Trent Jr. is questionable. I mean, bro, for the bigs here, um, Dwayne Dedman is questionable, all right? So... And um, they already have Haslam out, and your seven is out. So let's say, I mean, they don't have no big guys. I mean, who the, who the fuck? Miami, they're going to play somebody like, uh, and so Deadman, if Deadman is questionable, I'd imagine he's going to be probably the starter. Then, you know, you got guys like, um, Jovic and Kane, like, keep an eye out on these guys, man. So, um, let me see something, man. Fuck. Let me see something. So they locked it up. So, anyway, what, what, where I was at with this situation was, uh, let's talk about Jimmy Butler, okay? So, um, you know, we had been riding his uh, rebounds and assists, and, you know, 
fuck. Damn. Let me see. Prize picks that did they lock it up on the Yeah, I'll call, you, I'll call you right back, Joe. Mm. Yeah, man. So, ah, it's a monkey wrench now. So, this was just, those are scenarios. Uh, they're probably going to nerf uh, Jimmy Butler's rebounds and assists. And then on the Miami side, like, I wish we got some Chris, I mean, on the Toronto side, I wish we get some Chris, Chris Boucher. You know what I'm saying? But either way it goes, here, it's just going to have to be a side probably here. So it's probably going to be, if you like this number for Toronto Raptors, I, I suggest you take a stab at it. Um, you know, they, 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 I, I, I'd imagine um, uh, Fred Van Vliet is going to play. Um, I think Trent, Gary Trent Jr. should play. And they have enough bigs, you know, between, well, well let's see. Um, Chris Boucher, they also have... Uh, Fuck. Otto Porter Jr. is out. I mean, they got a few bigs over here. King Birch and Kokolo. So they got some bigs. Right now, uh usage bumps for uh for uh for uh usage bumps for uh Lowry and um Butler. And keep an eye out on the uh, rebounds and assists for Butler. All right. So he's been killing that lately. All right. So that's where I'm at with that, you know. Uh, probably going to be a my Toronto uh, nothing spot for me. Boston Celtics at Atlanta Hawks here, 235 over under in this spot. A um, lot to like about this one. We know where the usage is going to come from from these games here. Um, I'll tell you right off the back where we're going. Uh, you still get plus money for a double-double for uh, Ken Capella. So, you know, that's definitely in play. Uh, however, somehow Al Horford managed to keep – the Joker from getting a double double, and that's fucking crazy. So, uh, rebound prop uh, for Capella is sitting at uh, 11 and a half, and then um, Al Horford sitting at seven and a half. So, to tell you the truth, I you know, I really can't talk you off of the seven and a half for Al Horford. Um, so, there you have that. Um, assist category um, uh, Marcus Smart, six and a half assists. Okay. Talk you off of that. Uh, his assist prop is not on prize picks yet, so I like that. I like that. Uh, we've been riding that, you guys know that. Uh, so if it ain't worked, don't fix it. If you ask me. then, um, the threes for the usual suspects, they ain't play. I'm not even gonna go there. All right, rebounds and assists, um, combos. You can look at, um, you can look at DeJounte Murray in this spot here at, a, at a 13 and a half. Uh, that's definitely playable. You know, he's a triple-double threat. Uh, so that's uh, one thing there that I have some interest in. And uh, Jalen Brown, uh, points and assists. Uh, I have some interest in that as well, okay? So, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, rebounds and assists. I'm sorry. Um, I have some interest in that. He's hit this number. Well, it's at 10 and a half now. But he's hit this number in uh, three of his last four games. And the one game that he missed it was on the hook. So, uh, I can see instances where you know, uh, you know, he could probably get there. So ten and a half at plus money. That's 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 not out of the realm of possibilities. Let's keep it moving. All right. Um, how much time we got going on here? I got to go out the fucking door to work. Um, Cleveland Cavaliers and Milwaukee Bucks here. We got over under two seventeen and a half. Uh, injury news and notes we have here is uh, um, Donovan Mitchell is a game time decision. Drew Holiday is questionable to play today. Um, it's a game that I really, really didn't look too much into. Um, you know, I didn't really, really look too much into this one here. I ain't even gonna lie. Um, but these are my guys, Cleveland, my guys, I can't back them without Jerry Allen right now. Um, anything can happen. We seen, we seen what a Garland can do and would do. He went out there and smashed it. Uh, so, um, stay tuned. You know, to stay tuned. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pull some right out my hat. If not, then it's probably a total fade. Uh, Houston Rockets at Dallas Mavericks here. We got over under 220 and a half in this spot. Um, Dallas Mavericks are favored by nine here. Um, not a favorite of, fan of that big spread thing going on right there, but it is what it is. Uh, rebound prop is one I want to go to. Um, 
I mean, opposite goons is rebounds is in play. He just got into foul trouble last game. Um, hopefully he doesn't get ran off the court. I don't think so. Uh, so I think the rebound prop is in play there. Um, the three ball is in play for the usual suspects. You always got to look for the three ball here. So you're still going to get um, two and a half at, for Spencer Dinwiddie. That's that's juiced up at uh, minus 150. And uh, Luka Doncic, he, he hurt me last game. You know, he didn't get that. I was all in. I was all in on his uh, two and a half uh, threes there. He didn't get there, though. Um, what else we got here? Um, the rebound prop. Uh, I, I went to uh, De uh, 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 Dorian Finney-Smith last game uh, for three and a half rebounds. He didn't get there. All right, so it's in that four and a half as a parlay piece. I think I'm. I think I might want to go back there as a parlay piece. I don't know, uh, but you know, it is what it is with that spot there. Um, not too much I really want to talk about in this one here. I mean, it's everything is just about self-explanatory. I'm gonna like the three ball. I'm gonna like a couple other things there, like the uh, opposition going rebounds. Um, this New York Knicks at Denver Nuggets game here, 226 over under. We know we got injury news and notes and stuff like that to uh, to, uh, to to take care of here. So no Joker. We all know this. Um, Aaron Gordon is questionable. They got some type of bug going on. Um, uh, Marcus Robinson. He, uh, 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 Mitchell Robinson probably might play today. And uh, so you might get DeAndre Jordan, probably get the start. Um, Zeke Nanji, he'll probably be out there playing, you know, in the absence of the Joker. So uh, those are some things that we could look at there. Uh, so injury fill-ins. But, yeah, usage bumps for, uh, you know, guys like Michael Porter Jr. And, uh, you know, Michael Porter Jr. is one of the guys that's on my radar in this one here. Like I said, you, you just bump for him. Uh, three ball, probably sitting at three and a half, which I can't talk you off of. Uh, he's going to be out there. So uh, I haven't looked on DraftKings or whatever, but this, this prop might be on DraftKings. So I have some interest in Michael Porter rebound, I mean, uh, three-point prop uh, there. All right. Um, of course, uh, Jamal Jamal um, Murray, he's going to get a, a, a usage bump there. So, um that's another thing. His points are, should be in play as well. And assists. Um, and you know what? Bones Howland is probably out for this one as well. Well, he is he's doubtful, man. So Caldwell Pope and, and Brown, uh, these guys are gonna play a lot of a, a, a big part of what's going on today. So, you know, be on the lookout for uh, Caldwell Pope and Brown. So um, on the next side, um, definitely Brunson assists six and a half. Give me the over there. Um, definitely give me the over there. Um, uh, for whatever reason, if I think the Knicks going to win this game, then uh, maybe an eight assist in, uh, 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 in the win at, man, plus 450, man. That's not out of the realm of possibilities. I'm telling you this right now. I mean, God damn. Um, it's, it's not out of the realm of possibilities. The, the Knicks have to win this game, all right? So that's not out of the realm of possibilities. Definitely a straight bet right there. And, you know, I mean, Julius Randle has been playing some great ball. Uh, his props are in play. Um, look, I, get, I, I imagine he'll have a better game than he had last game. This is a back-to-back -back for them. So uh, those, th those are some props that I'm looking at uh, mainly. I'm not going to throw too much stuff out there because I – I didn't really, really look. All right? I didn't really, really look. And the last but not least, go to State Warriors, Phoenix Suns game here, 227 and a half over under in the spot. Um, go to State Warriors, man. I don't know what to say. Either way it goes. Chris Paul, you know, he's questionable. If he goes, then I'll be looking at I'll be looking at the double double for Chris Paul. I mean, I'll be looking at his assist prop here. I'll take it as soon as it drops flies off the flies off the shelf. OK, so uh, that's something that I'll be looking for. I'm, I'm looking for if he doesn't go, then you can look for point Booker. Uh, I'll be looking for point Booker at the player combos section here where uh, as of right now, you can get him his rebounds and assists at. Uh, Ten and a half right now, and uh, especially in the absence of uh, he's been crushing it. I mean, he's hit this number one, two, three, four, four straight games. And uh, you know he's hit it. 
see it a few more times throughout the season. So uh, if, if he doesn't go, I'll be looking for that. Mikhail Bridges in this setting, uh, his his rebounds and assists prop and in the in the, in the in the amount of minutes that he plays is not out of the realm of possibility. Uh, he plays almost. You might as well say his last four games. He played forty minutes a game. Um, he's hit this number in two out of his last three games. So uh, I, I definitely have some interest in that. Uh, he's hit this number uh, the last time these two teams played. He played 33 minutes. He had six rebounds and two assists. All right, so uh, Mikhail Bridges rebounds and assists. I can't talk you off of that either. Um, whatever, whatever it is with the uh, you know with the uh, with the Golden State side. I mean, you know, everybody's uh, usual suspects are in play for what they do. Uh, Andrew Wiggins, his rebounds and assist prop is sitting at seven and a half. Uh, in, again, in this matchup, uh, I think I like that. Uh, he had nine rebounds and assists last time these two teams played. And I, I, I and, and Draymond Green, he's been playing some really good ball as of late. Um, so uh, he's been aver- he's averaging uh, thirteen rebounds and assists. His rebounds and assists are sitting at thirteen and a half. Um, the last time these two teams played, he hit thirteen. So he's been flirting, you know. I can't talk off of that. I can't talk you off of it. All right, it just is what it is. Uh, pace up matchup for Phoenix. Pace down matchup for uh, Golden State. May the best team win. With that being said, peace, guys. I'm out.